great to be able to finally reveal the villain of the piece, Catherine Marlowe. She actually bears quite an uncanny resemblance to Rosalind Ayres, who is the uh, British actor and director that we're very lucky to be working with. Rosalind's performance is really coming through, I think. So let's, let's talk a little bit about her. She's part of a, a shadowy cabal who obviously uh, she wants something and, and Drake has it. There's this contention between Drake and Marlowe for the ring for Sir Francis Drake's ring that uh, players of Uncharted Drake's Fortune are familiar with, yeah. um, which uh, Nathan Drake you know, claims proves his uh, descendancy from Sir Francis Drake. Well, Marlowe obviously uh, has dibs on it as well, and so this is kind of the, the first phase of the adventure that will lead Drake around Europe and finally propel him into the mystic heart of the Arabian Peninsula. I merely want what's mine. seems to have uh, quite a, a past with Sully. Well, I'm glad you picked up on that. Uh, a big part of the adventure of Uncharted 3 for us is uh, uh, more of an opportunity to focus on the relationship between Nathan Drake and his friend and mentor and partner in adventure, Victor Sullivan. And yeah, it's clear that there's some history there between Sullivan and Marlowe. It's a rich mix, and I think it's going to get us into some interesting, emotional, adventure-filled stuff. W would it be safe to say that uh, Marlowe is going to be uh, a very three-dimensional enemy and, and not sort of like you know previously we've seen Lazarevich was was a, a tank and he was a, a huge badass and, and and very hard to take down. Marlowe is definitely a departure for us in yeah. terms of uh, a villain in the Uncharted series uh, whose, whose tendrils are more insidious you know who operates more psychologically is more of a kind of mess with your head villain so that's giving us all kinds of excellent opportunities to do things that we haven't done before and I think that the payoff for our audience is is going to be a good one. about what the Naughty Dog approach to 3D is. Well, as with everything we do, we planned well in advance. We've been planning to do uh, stereoscopic 3D since the very beginning of Uncharted 3. It's given us a bunch of opportunities in terms of the fact that we had to optimize our rendering en engine even further than we have uh, done so in the past. We've really, at this point, created the Naughty Dog Engine 3.0. And so the optimizations that we made for stereoscopic 3D have really paid off uh, for the 2D game as well, in terms of making the game run smoother, faster, and fundamentally look better. I've been a fan of uh, stereoscopy for a long time, and so to finally get to work with it is, uh, is brilliant.